Hey there, welcome back to Lead Coding. On this channel, we discuss problems which are frequently asked in programming interviews. Today, we are solving split a string into maximum number of unique substrings. The name itself is very much sufficient to describe the problem statement. The statement is we are given a string S and we have to divide it into certain number of substrings. Now, those substrings should be such that they are unique and we have to maximize that number of substrings. Now, in the very first example, we see that we have the string as a, b, a, b, c, c, c. And we can divide it as a, b, a, b, c, and c, c. So basically, we have five substrings and all of them are unique. The other way to divide it, uh, it could be a, b, a, b, c, and c, c. But in this case, we have uh, a occurring twice and b occurring twice. So this is not a valid split. Now one more thing to notice here is the given constraints. The constraints are given as 16. So this problem could be solved in exponential time complexity as well. Now let us try to see. So we saw that the optimal split of the given string, it could be as A, B, A, B, C, and C, C. So the five substrings are A, B, A, B, C and C, C. Basically, we are dividing it at four different positions. Now the last division is of course at the end. So we can have five different divisions for that matter. And now if we, uh, if we try to solve this problem using a brute force method, what we can do is if we have this string as A, B, A, B, C, C, C. We just have to try placing these bars. These bars could only be placed if we have this substring which we haven't seen in the past. So for example, we are starting from the very beginning and we just have A with us. Now we can place a bar over here because A is something that we have never seen in the past. So a bar could be placed over here. Also we can ignore placing the bar over uh, at this position and we can move ahead but let us say that we are placing the bar over here now the problem statement reduces to find the maximum number of splits in the remaining substring and a is already been seen in the past now when we come to b we can place a bar over here now we are just ignoring this part and this uh, string is starting from b itself now if you place the bar over here, we can place it as we haven't, we have not seen this uh, B in the past. So let us say that we are placing it over here, and now B has been seen. Now the remaining string is A B C C C. Again, can we place the bar over here? It is not allowed because A is already been seen, and we will have to move ahead. Now can we place the bar over here? Yes, because the substring AB it is not in the set of the seen substrings. So we can place the bar over here and then we can move ahead. Now ignoring this part and inserting AB into the set of the seen substrings. Coming to the next position C. It's not been seen so C is inserted into the set and we can ignore this part and we can start the substring from this position. Now we cannot place a bar over here because C is already been seen so we will have to go ahead and now CC is something that has not been seen in the past so CC get inserted into the set. So this way we ended up having five substring into the final string and this is the answer. Now I am taking the same example and I'm trying I will try to demonstrate another split. So A B A B C C and C. Now let us say that when we come and we try to place a bar over here, it is obviously it is allowed, but we are ignoring this and we will be going ahead, so we are not placing it over here. We will place the bar over here. So A B got inserted into the uh, into the set and now 
if you want to place the bar over here can we place it yes we can but let us say that we ignore this one can we place the bar over here no we cannot because b a b is already been seen so we'll have to go ahead now a b c now this can be inserted and let us say that we insert it so a b c is inserted and now the leftover substring is c c so we can insert c yes we can obviously insert c but then we cannot insert the last c so in this case we will end up having fewer number of substrings than the previous example so this one was the most optimal way to solve this basically there are uh, at any point we will have two options if this substring is not already been seen and we will have only one option if it is already been seen so we will get a better clarity of this if we try to code this one so what I am trying to say is let us say we have a helper function and i is the index at which we are currently on and we are taking the string s as it is an unordered set of a string to search that whether a string is already present in the set or not and a temporary string temp now this is to store the current substring if i is equal to s dot size simply return 0 else temp plus equal to s of i now we will be having two options if yeah let me first take the option 1 is equal to int min by 2 to avoid any overflow if st dot find the temporary string if it is equal to st dot end it means that it is not present inside the uh, set already so what we are going to do is we can we will have an option to just place the bar at this position if you place the bar at this position the current temporary string is going to be stored inside the set so st dot insert temp and option 1 is going to be 1 plus because we are obviously increasing a sub a substring so we will be adding 1 to it help of i plus 1 s s t and instead of temp the next temp would be an empty string so we are passing an empty string and again you have to erase temp this is a part of the backtracking we will have to erase it as we are inserting it uh, once the option is calculated we will have to erase it again so that we can do the further processing option 2 is going to be i plus 1 s s t and temp so this is the option one we simply ignored this position we didn't place any bar over here and finally we can return the maximum of option one and option two let us create an unordered set of type string 
st and let us return help of 0 comma s st and an empty string as a temporary string now let us try to run this on the given test cases and it is giving us correct answer let us try to submit this and it got accepted now talking about the worst case time complexity of this solution it would be at each position we can have two options either to ignore uh, ignore this position for placing bar or to place a bar over this position so these are the two options in case the temp is not being seen so if we consider the same situation at all the positions what we can uh, consider it as 2 raised to the power 16 as there are uh, at max there could be 16 possible positions in case uh, the current in case this temporary uh, string is already been seen so it will come it will not come into this situation and only one option will be there so in the worst case if we consider that both of the options are there so in the worst case it would be 2 raised to the power 16 an exponential algorithm and the space used here is of course big O of n the string the another set is storing something then the temporary uh, string is storing something so the space complexity is also big of n here so this is it for the solution if you like the video please subscribe to the channel thank you